So this one is an HR10. From the United Kingdom, cool. You don't usually give the Coast Guard that much credit. I'm telling you what, if you are a fighter pilot or you're in the Navy or you're even out on a boat in the civilian world and you need somebody to come help you, these are the guys that'll do it, the US Coast Guard. Very cool, beautiful aircraft. All right, so I'm gonna turn slowly. When we walked up, we looked at those aircraft up there earlier. I'll probably actually go up and get a picture of all the um, stuff there. Uh, plates and stuff like that. We're going to go into the museum at some point. Kathy's, Kathy's still in bed, so I don't even know what time it is. Probably like 6.30 or something like that. There's that glowing ball of love in the sky, right y'all? And her. Somebody's following me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she doesn't like it when I track everything inside the camper. I don't blame her. I'd hate to have to sweep up after me, too. All right. All right, so there's some more of the aircraft. A little closer look at the uh, Coast Guard's helicopter. Vice Admiral C. Robbins. That's pretty cool. I wonder how old it is. Looks like he's got a smile on his face. Almost looks like Lightning McQueen's face. All right, well, told you the FF one was down here. That is an F-15. Now, I know it says, it says Spirit of the Virginia Peninsula. I am pretty sure, it's kind of hard to see. I have to look at that sticker on the rear wing there, the tail zoom in on it so I'm carrying my coffee I want to say that I was told that this came from Elmendorf Air Force Base in Alaska but honestly I just don't know anybody knows leave a comment below That is an amazing aircraft. It's it's sad to see that these get retired and they're they're put out here in the weather and stuff like that. And I do I do understand this for educational purposes as well. Oh look, there's a let's walk up there. Let's take a walk up there. Let's see if that sign in front of it says anything about where it came from. What an aircraft, F-15. Okay, let's see, we got the 27th Fighter Squadron, 71st Fighter Squadron, 94th Fighter Squadron. I'll have to look those up a little later on. In fact, let me just take a picture of this so I can look them up. All right. All they're doing everything they can to keep the birds and stuff out of making nests in them. Very cool. What an aircraft this is. You guys know what to do as far as uh, you want to read all that, you can pause it at this point. Well, there's the, the exact aircraft. Oh, it's probably because it took a picture of it sitting here. You know, sometimes I'm not, I'm not that bright. So here we are at the other aircraft. Let's see what we got here. 160 passes over Fort Riley. That'd be in Kansas. 15 April 74 to 9 May 74. A7D versus an A10. Nice, it was a fly off. I wonder who won. Maybe it's on this thing down here. Let's see. A7 Delta. Corsair 2. That's a really cool jet. You got you got to admit that's a cool jet. All right.
right. So that's the A7. It's very cool. Pretty sure this was a Navy aircraft. <laughs> All right. Now, what do you guys think this one is, Reginald? I happen to know what it is. We're gonna find out in a second anyway, just to make sure that you guys absolutely do know. It's a really cool airplane. I remember sitting at Fort Rucker, Alabama back in 1988. And we were in, a, it was like, a, I, I don't know why I was there, whether it was one of those things where you got invited to or not, but they had the bleachers there and they were doing aircraft demonstrations. Um, the, the Apache came in, was flying sideways, was flying backwards. It did a barrel roll. It was really cool. And then this came in. This plane is really cool. Um, let's see, let's take a look. Again, I know what it is. So the museum acquired it in 1989. Um, remember I said that this was probably the last airplane that the last fixed wing airplane that the army had. Um, definitely when I was in. Um, and that was 1988 when I saw these, I was at Fort Rucker in Alabama. And they acquired this one in 89. It's been here a while. These things, it's just a really cool airplane. They are still in service today. Um, some of them, like I said earlier with the National Forest Service. And here we have a little hedge chopper. Let me see, I think it's the OH-6. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the OH-6. Um, I could be wrong though. Nope, I am correct. No OH-6, Cayuse. Pretty nifty little helicopter. Okay, so one of the things I know that this aircraft does currently, because there are still some of these in service um, in Pennsylvania, and I think some of the other um, states, they still use these aircrafts to put a, a platform off the side in the back there. It's really not that big of an aircraft either. It is so tiny. But anyway, um, they will go check power lines with them and make sure the power lines are good. So like when I was working at the fire department, it you could see this, there was a black one that would come out. And I know here in Corning, they do it the same thing. Maybe it's the same company that does it, but you never know. Just look how small this thing is. I mean, I really wish I could, so I'm 6'2". You used to be taller, but as you get older, you start shrinking. Um, I'm 6'2", and my head's still above the canopy. My shadow's not, but my, well, I'm probably just about the top of the canopy. So here's a good question. Now, aviation people do not answer this question. Firefighters, you should know what this is. Do you know why they put the red and white stripes or on some aircraft, the um, yellow and white stripes on the tail rotor? If you know, put it in the comments below. Or if you don't know, guess and put it in the comments below. All right, I do not know what this is. I'm gonna take a guess uh, and say it's a B-29. I don't know. I don't know. It's not a B-29. B-29s are a lot bigger. Um, I should know what this is. B-27, maybe? Those radial engines right there, uh, we're on our way up through Pennsylvania um, on Highway 83, Interstate 83, and there was a, uh, a building on the left before York, and it had two of those radial engines sitting on engine stands outside of their shop. Very cool. Very cool. Again, why is there a yellow stripe on the prop? Oh, I was so close. What did I say, B-27? Oh, it was a B-26. All right, well, can't win them all. So I guess I'm going to be reading this to make sure that I know everything about it. I'm not gonna read it to you guys. Pause it here and read it. That's a very cool plane. World War II, look at those guns on the front. Pretty cool. It 
ANG. Uh, black and yellow, That I think that used to be the colors for the Army back then. So let me go back and check real quick because I, I didn't read it. I was just looking at the aircraft while I was videoing it down here. I want to see. Uh, the U.S. Air Force Light Bomber. All right. Very cool. So the Air Force, A&G is Air Force National Guard, right? Wings of Eagles Discovery Center. Inside this hangar, and this is a hangar, there are more aircraft. I know there's an A-10 in there and a couple other really cool jets or planes. Um, we are going to be going in there later on, and I'll be getting some of that footage. That is a heck of an aircraft. That is awesome. F-14 Tomcat. These are the afterburner nozzles on the back. Tail hook right there. That is really cool. Look down there. I mean, literally, look how thin that piece is in the center. That's like having two rockets strapped to your backside. That is so cool. And if you've watched Top Gun, then you are familiar with this aircraft. So, interestingly enough, there is a famous F-14 Tomcat that is at the... Uh, Army Depot where I used to work. Its number on the nose was 103 and the tail wing had the Jolly Rogers on it. That aircraft actually was in a movie called The Final Countdown with Martin Sheen. Very cool. All right, let's get a good look at this here right here. Really nice aircraft. If I could afford one of those. Now, for those of you who don't know, the wings are in the swept wing position right now. They're folded all the way back. Those wings actually will come out to the side for low speed flying. And then when they go into the mock position, the plane looks like a delta wing. Very cool. Hey, Quan, if you're watching this video, what do you think of that, buddy? Looks pretty cool, right? All right, yes, sir.